Well, hello there. So this is a bit embarrassing, but I forgot too many key components of this setup to not redo the video. I was in a rush and I should have waited until I wasn't, but at least I can do the right thing and fix the mistakes. I apologize to those of you who already watched the first video, and I hope that you were able to make it work even though I messed up pretty bad. And for those of you finding this one first, well, yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, the first thing we are going to do for this is download the DLL that I completely forgot last time. This is needed to make the C-sharp code be able to detect the duration of our media files and show and hide them accordingly. So just click the link to that in the description below to get it downloaded. Alternatively, if you don't trust random downloads, you can find and grab this file from my Discord in the OBS help channel. Then, once you have that file downloaded, you are going to want to open your StreamerBot install location, then the DLLs folder, and place the DLL file inside of that folder. Then you can close that folder, but keep File Explorer open because we are going to add our media locations before we get into setting anything up inside of OBS or StreamerBot. For your media file locations, I suggest creating a folder wherever you keep your stream assets for OBS. I've said it before, and I'll say it again and again. Pro tip. Keep all of your OBS and stream assets in one location. Smart. Once you've decided on a location for your new folder, create a folder named Walk On Videos and then open it. Inside of this folder, we are going to create our directories for both subscribers and for people who don't realize how cool you are and haven't yet paid you for it because you're awesome. <laughs> so create a new folder and name it not subscribed. And inside of that folder is where you are going to put any media files that you want to be played for non subscribers. Then for any subscribers, create folders named after their Twitch usernames and put their video or videos inside of those folders. It's just like the walk on sounds setup that I did way back when. Now that we have all of the backend stuff set up, we can get OBS and StreamerBot set up. So firstly, open up OBS and create a new scene named Walk On Videos. And then inside of that scene, add a media source and name it Walk On Player. Click the boxes for local file, if it's not already clicked, and refresh when source becomes active. And then click OK. Now right click the source itself and go to transform and click set to full screen. Then turn the source visibility off and lock the source. After that, you just need to nest the scene into your main scene and set the scale and position to something that you like. And that is everything we need inside of OBS. So now we can move over to StreamerBot and get everything else set up. First thing you need to do in StreamerBot is get some variables set up that are going to tell the C-sharp code what to do or where to look or both. So at the top of StreamerBot, click the Variables button and then right click to add a new variable. Our first variable's name is going to be Base Path, and the value will be the location you placed your walk on videos folder. So, I don't know, C. blah, 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 blah blah 
slash walk on videos. I don't know. I can't make something up on the spot. I'm sorry. Make sure to put a backslash at the end of the location. It's very important you do that. Our second variable's name is non sub folder with a value of not subscribed. The third variable is named video player and the value is walk on player. The fourth is named video scene with a value of your main scene's name. So wherever you nested your walk on videos scene, that is what you set this value to. The last variable's name is video source and the value is walk on videos. If you didn't watch the original video for this where I messed everything up or my other walk on videos tutorial that didn't use C sharp, you will also need to set up the queue for them. So click the action queues tab, then the queues tab, and then right click to add a new queue. Name it walk on videos and tick the blocking box, then hit OK. <laughs> With all of our variables set up, the queue created and everything else done, the last thing we need to do in StreamerBot is create our action. Copy the import code from the description down below and then click import at the top of StreamerBot. Find the newly imported action containing the C-sharp code in your list of actions and right click it and select edit. Name the action, whatever you want, whatever makes sense, and then set the group to also anything that makes sense to you. Set the queue to walk on videos and click OK. To the right in the triggers box, add a first words trigger by going to Twitch, hovering over general and clicking first words. In the sub actions box, right click and go to Twitch, hover over user and select get user info for target. Then set the source type to user, drag the Twitch add info sub action above the C sharp code and you're finished. That's it. I can't believe I messed all of that up last time. Sorry. I really hope that this video came out the way it should have the first time around, which is to say clearly and with all of the necessary info. <laughs> I sincerely and truly apologize for rushing the last video and not catching the many, many mistakes that I made. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and get some great reactions when using this on your own streams. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please click that like button. And if you wish to learn more helpful tricks with StreamerBot and OBS, please consider subscribing to the channel. I love you. If you have any requests for future videos, questions about this video or anything stream related, please leave a comment down below. Or if you would rather ask when I can answer you directly or walk you through something one on one, you can come join me on Twitch for one on one direct live help. I love it. I go live every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I appreciate your time and support. Thank you very much for being here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and as always, take care and stay safe. Nice. <laughs>